Hello, in this video I will be showing you how to rotate scale, skew, translate and 3D and transform any object in Flutter. So this is the demo of the app that we are going to build. As usual, I will be starting with an empty template with just a scaffold and a column widget. So let's add the slider first. So that will be a new function called slider. That will return a slider. Alright, let's add the initial uh, the value to 0 and minimum to 0 and maximum to 100 and on change function and so I'm to return a value so let's declare a new variable double slider value let's set it to 0 and use that slider value in the value property of the slider now add the slider to the UI alright now I'm going to override the in state method that's going to initialize the slider value to 0 so when the state is initialized, it's set to zero. All right. Now go to the on change function and set the state of the slider value to value. So you you see that slider in the UI now. Now I am going to write a method uh, called rotate. That will return a container uh, which is going to take a child uh, of transform. I'm going to call transform dot rotate with an angle of the value of the slider all right so i am going to set the origin as offset 0 and 0 for now you can play around with that uh, and the child will be another container with a height of 100 sorry 50 and width of 50 and the color will be colors dot red all right let's add the widget to the ui just below the slider okay that is working now copy that and write another function scale Let's change the rotate to scale and remove the angle and change it to scale that will be slider if it is zero i'm going to set it to one else it will be set to slider value divided by 50 and add the widget uh, it looks small but it is scaling so that is okay so let's make it little bit more bigger so let's change the red square to from 50 to 100 all right so that looks okay now now let's change the green square as well from 50 to 100 okay now it looks better now all right now let's copy the scale function and duplicate it with the translate now it change the scale to translate uh, remove the scale and origin now set the offset to new offset with say 200 and 100 let's see what happens add the translate widget uh, to the main UI so you see that is translated to the end of the screen so let's make it 100 should be a little more okay now make it 0 it's uh, vertically horizontally center now it's vertically center all right change the color to yellow all right so when you scale that it's not even translating right the third one so we didn't use the slider value let's change say x value to our slider value now or reload and now it is scaling all good all right now let's copy the translate function and duplicate it now change it to skew we are going to skew the object now change the transform to the default constructor and use the transform property and call matrix for or skew you can use skew x or y or skew here i'm going to use just the x value and change the box color to blue add the widget to the ui okay so there it is it's skewed let's change the slider so it's working zero it is a perfect square and skew is working along the x-axis now let's copy the skew and write another method so we will make a 3d object 3d scale transformation 3d transformation 
so that will be matrix dot identity dot dot set entry with row three column two and the third value to the dynamic value to slider value slash thousand you can change those values and see what happens so to rotate x I'm going to rotate the x direction in the x direction so by 20 and the alignment is set to off fractional offset dot center all right let's add the object to the main ui okay oh okay let's change the slider now so that is changing now so all are transforming now based on this slider value mm, okay so you can do anything with the, this transform object uh, it's up to you what you can do uh, you can even scale the whole screen if you put the the transform object as a around the scaffold ob object then you can even uh, transform the whole screen uh, with your own animation all right so so those are uh, the possibilities are limitless uh, so hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe uh, like and share the video and uh, hit the bell icon for notifications thanks for watching